Hello everybody. This is Susie Clancy coming to you. The big one, Susie. Well, bloopers, in reality, bloopers are supposed to be. And this is not scripted. This is just coming out of my mouth because you just had to have seen what just happened to me. A blooper is supposed to be something that happens um, by mistake or it's really something really stupid you did and you can't I don't I have no idea how to edit that's why if anybody interrupts my film like they did yesterday I'll get on, I'll get on with that um, but if you would have seen me 20 minutes ago and what happened to me and if I could only have captured that on film I was just finishing doing my face, which is what I'm going to talk about. And Natalie, the beauty diva, and I, we often, we swap things. I gave her some necklaces. She gave me some, some uh, products. And two of the products she gave me were um, Bye Bye Foundation. Anyway, they're both powders. Uh, she gave me a couple of blushes and, and, uh, and powders, you know, the translucent powders. One of them is called Bye Bye Pores. The other one is called something, it Illumination, whatever. And <clears throat> I wanted to come on here and talk about what I put on my face. This is what I wanted to do yesterday. But today I couldn't do that. So I was putting on my face and I finished it off with with the um, whatever Natalie had told me not to finish off my face with, that's the one I finish off my face with because it seems to work really well with me. So I put my powder puff into the thing and the thingamajig came, came open and my whole face after I'd done my makeup was covered in white powder. The top I had on, my jeans, everything, I was looked like I'd been snowed on. My eyelashes, my eyebrows. If only I had caught that on film. That was, it was hilarious. Not to mention I lost half the product. But anyway, so let us begin my video. Yesterday I was going, and I'm going to do this. Yesterday I was all set to do a get ready with me, but what I'm using on my face. Because I have not used foundation now in about three weeks. First time in my life. First time in my life I haven't used foundation. And what I've been using is my wonderful, wonderful physician's formula um, the little temple looking BB cream. Well, first I put moisturizer and then I put, um, I put my, um, my Maybelline, Maybelline, my Maybelline primer, which is my favorite because I love, um, I love that, um, what do you call that? Cortis, uh, the cortis, no, not, um, the jelly sub, you know, the gel jelly substance there, like the, you know, I don't like cream primers. I like the one that you can see through. It's like gel. It's like putting jelly in your face. Anyway, so I like my um, the one I just told you. And then what I do? So I put my I put my my uh, my my day cream, and then I put my primer, and then I don't have the proper. I'm waiting to get my it um, press powder. I've been waiting forever for it. Um, and that's what I'll be using. So I use my physician's formula, a little press compact. And I use the same brush and I dabble that on my face. And then I do my contouring, my bronzing, my blush, my highlighting, yada, yada, yada. And I was having a great time doing this yesterday. Well, I had started. So I was going to show you guys what, I, how I, what I've been doing for the last three weeks and how cool it is and everything and and how it is possible when you're you know an antique like me just to wear powders and not look like like a grandma Tilly's great-grandmother with a big bunch of powder on her face everything kept happening I had done I had just cleansed my face and everything else anyways I'm not gonna get into the long story of how I couldn't film my video but let's just put it this way my phone rang a couple times I took it off the hook then my doorbell rang. When my doorbell rings, I'm stuck. First time it rang, it wasn't too bad because I had only started. Second time it rang, the person kept ringing and ringing and ringing, and I was halfway finished. Thus went my video. 
And I just, I, after you, when you're doing a get ready with me and you're putting makeup on, I don't know about you guys, but, um, I'll, I'll try it once or twice, but then it's, it's, I just, I don't have the, I don't have the patience to start all over again and sit here and do the whole thing, especially on my precious days off. So I just said, well, I'll do it over the weekend or whatever. Anyways, what I'm going to, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing it. Um, I don't know, either over the weekend or next week. But I want you to see how I've been doing my face because I really love it. And I think a lot of you would might really enjoy doing the same thing I'm doing. Those of you over um, a certain age, over the age of 39. And this is coming from a gal who has always, even if it's a little bit, always used foundation. I've never even just used BB creams or CC creams without a little bit of foundation. So I want to show you what I've been doing. And the next thing, oh, what, what am I forgetting? Um, so anyways, yesterday was a disaster for filming and I only wish that I could have been filming. I wish, I wish I could have been doing the same thing as I was yesterday and that accident would have happened because I would have kept it, you know, me, I would have kept it in my video. Anyway, on to, on to, on to the good stuff. So I have a couple of, I have a couple of thank yous. I have a couple of thank yous. First of all, Amanda. Scott on the loose. This woman is an absolute treasure. She's a doll. I've known Amanda since I came on YouTube. I don't think she does that many videos, but most of us know her. And uh, she sent me a card, but she also, and this is just for no reason. She also sent me a short note. <laughs> Anyways, that just made my, made my day. I think I got that on uh, Monday or Tuesday. Not only that, look at this. She sent me a customized pen with my name on it saying Fancy Clancy. What does it say, Fancy Clancy? Fancy Clancy. Anyway, it says Fancy Clancy. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Anyway, so now I have my own pen with Fancy Clancy on it. And I was thinking of changing my channel name to Fancy Clancy, but I think, yeah, you know, if you change your channel name and you go to all kinds of, I don't know. That, and not only that, and I'm dying to play this, but I wanted to show you all first before I opened it. It is all Scottish songs. Uh, beautiful songs, the kind of songs that I love. And I had memorized her name, and of course I forgot it. Oh yeah, Eddie Reader, Eddie Reader, and that's her CD, and it's all beautiful Scottish songs. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I probably I think I know I know about three or four of them, not not all the words because I love this type of music, and um, I'll try to figure out how to do this, and I'll I'll sing back a couple to you. This video sort of reminds me of, I know I spoke about Little Poet a couple of videos ago, or last video. I didn't realize Little Poet was an amazing singer. And she's even like, I don't know if she's still, she's like much more recent than I am. My singing, my, my like the, the core of my singing took place like over um, 15, 20 years ago. And before that. But Little Poet, Susan Buchanan, if you go on to uh, Google and you look up Susan Buchanan, you're going to see... Um, an album that she put out and the songs are just beautiful and not only that she wrote the songs and I was just blown away she's got this beautiful beautiful voice just like when she talks in her videos so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to link everybody because I'm going to dialysis after in about an hour so I, do, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to link things I don't think I will but anyway um, have a listen to little poet if you haven't heard her sing because she sounds I don't like to say sing or sound like anybody, it's sort of, but she's like sort of in the uh, Sarah McLaughlin, uh, Lorena McKinnett, in that type of genre. Anyways, so take a listen to Susan, little Susan. We have, we have many talented people in our little YouTube circle. And so that, thank you so much, Amanda. My God, just the postage from Scotland. I mean, wow. I was, I was so, so, so touched. And then from... Little Cheryl, who used to be in her corner, 
but who's not in her corner anymore. And everybody knows and loves Cheryl's corner, little Cheryl. And I had one, well, I had a choice of picking number one or two. Well, you had a choice of picking one or two in your giveaway. And I picked number two because I really do love Elf. And uh, I got a whole bunch of goodies. And, of course, I have to open it. I can't. I got a card. Hold on. I got a card. I got a I got a blender. I got foundation. I got a, a and you've seen all that. You, I've got a a blush and a and a bronzer. I got a really cute little three tiered um, eye palette, lip palette, cheek palette, and whoa. That's a very, very pigmented blush. It looks sort of orange on my camera, but it's like it's it's almost the same color as the blouse I'm wearing, shirt I'm wearing, whatever I'm wearing. And and then there was four brushes. And she had this so beautifully wrapped. Look at the box, how pretty it is. She she put tape on the box and anyway, it's a it's a beautiful I love I love this kind of box. So I'm gonna keep this box and see I'm number I'm number two. But I was number two on purpose because I wanted to be. And she also sent me, and I love the Elf Studio brushes. Not all of them, mind you, but most of them. And the ones that I do love, I've had to glue some of them back together because I've had them for years. But there was one brush that she sent me, this little baby here. Oh, my God. Oh, where am I? Am I unfocusing? Focus, hello. This little baby, this little baby is absolutely amazing for when you use your... When you're doing your, okay, well, I have this, this one, and I have the Etta. Anyway, let's, I have the Etta and, and the, uh, the dupe of the MAC. So when you're doing your contouring, this, you know, you do your straight lines, and I can't do it. I have a camera, I'm going backwards. <laughs> this little, this little baby here is absolutely perfect, perfect, I tell you. For like you know, just blending it all and everything else, it's so soft. And if you just wanted a light, light contouring, you know, like if you're zipping out in a hurry and you just want to put a little bit of light contouring on your face so you don't, your face doesn't look like a doesn't have any dimension. What a beautiful little brush! And this is called, it's called a blending brush. But I don't know what they want you to blend with. But I think they, I think Elf came out with a contouring brush. But this is for any of you who are not sure about how to contour and everything. Get this little gem from Elf. Just a second, I'll tell you what it's called. I will tell you, because this is absolutely perfect for beginners. And this is called a... It's called a blending brush, like I said. Now, but you don't have to use it to blend. You could use it to apply, to apply your contour. So, thank you so much, Cheryl for the wonderful giveaway. I was so excited, so I got I got two gifts this week. <laughs> love getting gifts. I don't mean that. I mean, I love I love getting gifts. I love giving gifts. I, who doesn't? Who doesn't, right? And then Cheryl also sent me a beautiful little card with little... And it's so funny because the, the card, which is in the back of my walker, because I, I got, um, I got um, Amanda's gift on my way to dialysis Monday morning. Oh, and by the way, on Fridays now, I go to dialysis. I'm going to be leaving here about 2.30. Um, so that's why I'm doing my video now, because I, I'm able to. And I hope this thing doesn't cut off. So I just came on here to say thank you for my for my uh, gifts, to tell you that I did do a get, get Ready With Me, but I am going to be doing it. And the good news is, is that on Sunday, Yahoo! Guess where I'm going? Oh, yes, and I have figured out my iPod, and I've got my Apple ID, and I'm going to be filming it, and Holly is taking me to Sephora. And I have been saving up my little buckies, and I'm buying the Laura Mercier, finally. The Laura Mercier loose powder that older women are supposed to use. And this is going to last me for like over a year. And I just can't wait, because I've been using like lower end stuff to do my face. So I can't wait to use the higher end. Because you know when you use, just for higher end um, makeup, um, and most people who know anything about makeup will say this. If you've used a higher end foundation, you don't ever want to go back to the lower end. But some people don't have a choice. 
So you can you can uh, use uh, what I do is with my higher end foundations. I save them for not special occasions. I just save them, and I and then I use my everyday found my drugstore foundations, which are fine. But I, like I said, I haven't been using any foundations. And then the other thing is eyeshadows. Eyeshadows. If your eyeshadow, this is just uh, advice from somebody who's been using eyeshadow a long, long time. I just reordered this. And this is my benefit. I, as everybody out there, and I know Caroline with Flip Flops and Pearls. I should have opened this before. She loves her pinks and purples, and I love my pinks. And I have my eyes done today like mermaid. I've got them done in pink and, and sort of icy blue. But this benefit eyeshadow, which I got on eBay, and it's my second purchase, and it'll I'll get it again. I should have ordered two, but they're not that cheap. Now that that is what you call a beautiful eyeshadow, and the ones and of course the palette eyeshadows. Most of them are beautiful. Once in a while, you'll find one that's chalky, but this one here, oh my God, it feels like velvet. And look. Look at the, look, would you look at that? You know, it's it's so beautiful. It's just, oh, where do I put that? I'll just stick it on my, anyways, I don't know. So that's my, my benefit. And as you all know, I'm having a mad passionate love affair with L'Oreal Infallibles. So apart from my palettes and my L'Oreal Infallibles and digging back into my Milanis and everything, I find that I'm digging out my palettes and my singles and I'm using I'm using a lot of stuff that I hadn't been using and I'm having a ball so yesterday was very chaotic in the building here we had a lot of excitement going on which was another reason I couldn't do the filming thank you all for your concern over my tummy um, they had me all set up for some kind of a scope on the 31st but I know what did this to me I know it what happened to me and it's not half as bad now as it was I have pulled a muscle in my in my abdomen and the reason I pulled a muscle in my abdomen is because when I sit here because of my non-ability to walk properly when I'm uh, doing my makeup I have I have a couple of caboodles on the floor and then I've got my makeup thing to the side of me here and my purse and everything and, and it's sort of like I'm sitting in this little kitty corner so I have to lift my caboodle and put it on a stool and by doing that I'm leaning over, and I, I finally realize because it's only when I when I sit in this chair here for the last week or so, it was that's when it like it's it's getting much much better. So I finally figured out what's wrong with me myself. I definitely pulled something in my abdomen, and it's getting better every day. So I want to thank you so much. I was really really worried. I thought anyway, I'm not even going to tell you what I thought, but it's, it's something that's silly, you know. So from now on, I'm not going to lean over the side and pick something heavy up. Like you wouldn't believe how heavy my purse is. Anyway, so it's Friday, and uh, it's great to have Friday mornings off and into the afternoon. And I hope you all have a great weekend. I can't wait for tomorrow because Carol will be on and Natalie will be on. And I just love watching those two because when I get up on Saturday morning, like I've said before, I used to, when I was a kid, we used to watch uh, cartoons. And now, now Natalie's back and Carol does her, her, her you never know what Carol's going to do. And um, I just can't wait for these two gals for their videos to come up. And I really, really love it when they do it with Jennifer, uh, the once a month when they do all their uh, their favorites and everything. So, so don't forget everybody tomorrow. And I can't link all these people because I don't have time. But you know, it's Natalie, the beauty diva, and she's turned out to be one of my besties because we talk every single day and we have so much fun. And Carol, I mean, who doesn't love Carol? If it wasn't for Carol, you know, I wouldn't have come to a, I, I wouldn't be over a thousand subscribers. A lot of us wouldn't be over a thousand subscribers. A lot of us wouldn't be where we are now because of all the trouble Carol went through doing her list and everything. And uh, I guess we just take it for granted, you know, but I don't take anything for granted. And um, every time I, every time I take a shower and I put this thing on that Carol sent me that's waterproof. Well, Carol, it was waterproof, darling, but it's not waterproof anymore. So I can no longer use it. So I have to figure out something else because I can't get my... Oh, and another thing I want to tell you people. If you ever see me here, here, and it looks like my skin is all wrinkled there, 
It's not. I don't have like I don't have a certain part of my body that's all wrinkled. That's my catheter, and that's the the the, 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 the plastic covering on it. So please don't think I was in a fire or that I have wrinkles on that part of my body because I don't. I know it looks weird sometimes. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm gonna love you and leave you. So I will try to link if I have time. I don't think I'm going to because I hate rushing. If I do have time, I'll link things. If I don't, we'll just look them up. And I'm going to learn how to pause, and I'm going to learn how to put things across the screen. And I just hope the hell that this thing is recording. And I think it is. So while I'm in luck, I'm going to bid you all au revoir. Au revoir de Montreal. Have a wonderful, 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 wonderful weekend. And um, glad to see that uh, a few people are back, like Sharon. And who's the person I haven't seen around in a long time? Oh, God. There's somebody I haven't seen. Oh, where is um, where's, uh, Chris Ann? Chris Ann, where are you? Oh, I don't know where Chris Ann is. Akinfora? Arkinfora? That is a really strange name. Arkinfora. Akin, I don't know. Anyways, everybody knows her. The wild redhead. So, have a great weekend, and I'll probably do that uh, if it comes out properly. I'll do my Sephora. I'm going to go. Holly just can't wait to see my face when I go into Sephora because I'm just going to let out. You don't know me. I'll, I'll let out a scream. No, I'll, well, I might. I might not. I'll try to control myself. Anyway, it's going to be so hard just going in there and buying one thing. Oh, my God. But anyway, I just can't wait to go. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Mwah! And I sure hope this came out. I really, really do. Did I tell you to have a good weekend? Bye. What the hell did I just talk about? I don't know.